Welcome friends to my kitchen. Ben Vin Jamia Cuzinho. I was given a bunch of peaches. This is peach season. A friend of mine gave me a big box and I love peach cobbler. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make a, a peach cobbler. So I yesterday when she gave me the peaches, I put them in hot water and I peeled them and then I put them in these jars. That's a better way for me to preserve them uh, if I want to do something later instead of me leaving them in a box sometimes some are too soft and they start getting all mushy and then you can't do nothing with them but I peeled them and put them in a jar I use my sealing machine to seal the jar so they can stay here in the refrigerator for a long time so I have here half a cup um, half a cup of butter or one cube we use a cube of butter I'm gonna put half of it in the bottom and then we're gonna make the cobbler part which is very easy one cup of all-purpose flour I have a um, quarter of a teaspoon of salt one cup of um, sugar one tablespoon of baking powder one teaspoon of um, cinnamon and I need one cup of milk it's all one 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 it's easy to remember I love I used to make so many cobblers when my kids were home that was an easy dessert you could assemble in no time and you can use frozen fruits and we always had different kinds of fruits that people give it to us and I didn't know what to do with it. They loved the cobbler, it was easy. So let me get a cup of milk. So to this, I'm gonna add one cup of milk. Okay. Um, and you, if you're gluten-free, you can substitute the flour for gluten-free flour. Use the same thing. It's easy, and in no time, you have a dessert. I have my oven preheated at 350. So, yeah, a friend of mine, she always gives me these peaches. So yesterday, she brought all these peaches, and I had to find a way to use them. older son that was one of his favorite because they would eat that this with a scoop of ice cream and in no time I had a dessert when my kids were home they had to have dessert all uh, every night could have been cookies it could have been brownies but they had to have dessert so I always made some for them so don't mix just let it uh, sit there. And then now, this is a four cup of peaches. So I'm just gonna pour, see how much I need. Probably need a little bit more um, of peaches. You can take the juice out if you want to, but I put everything. Get a scoop and take some of the fruit add more fruit to it okay and I'm gonna bake this probably an hour okay so then I'm gonna pour the rest of the butter over the fruit this you're gonna need to put uh, in a cookie sheet that this might bubble up so I'm going to put on top of a cookie sheet and I'm going to bake it at 350 for about an hour and but 15 minutes before the time I'm going to put some slivered almonds on top I like with almonds on top and then I'll show you very easy dessert here it is friends my peach cobbler it smells so good and 
and uh, I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh, it is so good. It took an hour and 15 minutes. Um, the last 15 minutes, I covered my pan with some foil because I didn't want to um, to get too dark. The middle is so gooey. How this taste? This was a scoop of ice cream. This is gonna be hot. I know already. Mm. Look. I wish you could taste and smell. These were white peaches, but you can do with any kind of peach, with any kind of fruit. A peach cobbler, and in no time you have a dessert. I know people who have ever done, even done this on um, um, air fryer. You give a try to something like this. You know, so simple, so delicious, and uh, um, and you can do with all kinds of fruit these days. We have fruit all year round. Anyway, this is a delicious uh, dessert here, not home. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do give me some thumbs up, share my videos on your social media and with your friends and family. Until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.